Hello and welcome back. We've got our character Ene that we just created and we're gonna jump in and go through the levels and see how far we can get. Try out each of the different classes and races. On this screen we can kind of see a quick glimpse of the different moves. Now I've noticed about this game, oh and a note, I'm probably gonna skip through the cutscenes. Uh, they do give some of the story but uh, I think there should be some incentive for you guys actually going and playing the game yourself, so that'll be the incentive. So here we are, in the game. Uh, now, something I've noticed is starting out, there isn't a whole lot of tutorial or anything to tell you how to move around and how to uh, work the interface, so I'll give a couple little tips on that. So when you first get in, you have kind of your movement mode, you're actually directing just by moving your mouse and then you're using WASD for moving around. Uh, you can also use an auto run if you have that button on your mouse. Um, and so that's kind of for your general like fighting, so I'm left clicking here and uh, things like that. So that's kind of your basic going around and battling mode. And then you, if you hit Alt or Escape, I believe is another way of doing it, then you kind of get this interface where you can move stuff around, you can move your chat window. You can also customize these, so you could have it where you just see your party, just see stuff within the system, combat bargain whispers, and you can make your own tab, I think by clicking here, yeah, add a tab that you can customize and decide what you want to see as far as notifications go. You also have your mini-map here, which you can move around wherever pleases you. I tend to find that I like it up in the top left, because there's not usually very much up here, so it's not too distracting. Uh, and this kind of gives you a basic view of the area around you. Now, you don't have to use this. If you hit N, it removes that, and you just hit N again to bring it back. Um, so there's their kind of mini-map, and there's also this more mini-map? <laughs> Minier <laughs> map over here, which shows obviously your view and uh, will show you enemies and quests near you. And it also shows like if there's materials that you can gather for crafting, then that's all included here as well. Uh, your quest tracker is also right here. I don't have any quests yet because I've just begun, but that'll load up there and you can hide it or show it and select which quests you want to see. If you look through here, there it shows all the different things that we can look through. There's your profile, you just hit P, and that shows you your character and what they have equipped. So you have your armor, gloves, boots, weapon, if you have a necklace, if you have innerwear, which I haven't used yet, uh, also if you have like a face mask or uh, like a hat or something, or some people have halos that you get from uh, gathering and other miscellaneous things. Uh, earrings, there's rings, and then you can also, they have weapon crystal and armor crystal slots as well. And these come dependent on your armor. Here you can see uh, all the information about your piece of armor. And this one actually does have two crystal sockets. So you see those there. And you can find crystals as you go through the game that you that give you different bonuses, like it may reduce the uh, damage received from minions or from bosses by like 5% or something like that. Or with your weapons it might increase your critical hit chance. Um, so those are, that's kind of a little summary of that. Uh, and then you also have all of your stats down here, which are kind of nice. Costuming, so this is if you want to have uh, a different look than the armor that you're wearing, uh, so you can create a costume. You can also take armor that you've, uh, say you have really good armor, but it doesn't look as cool as this other armor that you had before. Some of the armor is remoldable. If you look in here, it'll say remoldable on it. And then you can change the look of your armor to match whatever it is you want it to look like, if that's an option. Uh, so that's that's something there. Then there's dungeon history and PvP record. 
and your reputation. So that's the profile. We're going to try and go through this a little bit quick. So then there's your skills. So your skills are here, passive ones and active, which you can equip down here in your hotbar, hotkey bar. Uh, your alliance skills and then your riding skills for whenever you get a mount, which is, comes at level 10, I believe. Um, then we have your quest log, which is L. And this is where you can follow all of your quests and keep track of them and determine which ones show up on your tracker. It also gives you information about what needs to be accomplished next or who you need to talk to. Inventory, which is I. Oh, you know, I think this is new. I know they just had a patch, so this must be new. So now you can sort... Oh, that's really nice. Now you can actually see specifically what... Uh, sift through your stuff a lot easier. So there's your inventory. You can expand it um, at some... Oh, I don't remember what they're called, but an inventory something. Uh, there's one in Velika, which is pretty close to here. So that's a way to do that. Uh, so we'll hit Alt again. Uh, your map, which you can just hit M to look at your map. So we're on the Island of Dawn. You can right click to zoom out. So this is the whole of, uh, wow, why am I blinking? On the world, of the world. <laughs> but, um, so we're on the Island of Dawn. This is the South, uh, Shara, I believe. And then the South Oh dear. You know what? I'm going to get this wrong, so I'm not going to say. There's a north and south area, and they have names, but I can't remember exactly what they are. At the moment, your activities menu, emoticons, enchanting, which is T, achievements, which is V, and crafting, which is J, which you learn about that later, too. Rankings, I haven't done very much with. And then your social menu, so you can add friends, start a guild, have an alliance uh, for raid management, death matches, etc. And then Valkion Outfitters, which is where you can use real world money to purchase items for your character or expand your bank or lots of different things. So they always have different things for sale as well as uh, different sales going on on those items. And then your systems menu, this is where you log out. Your options menu, which is where you can customize the interface as well as your audio, video, UI settings and shortcuts, key sh keyboard shortcuts. You just hit OK and apply to get those changed. Uh, welcome message, etc. If you get stuck, you can click this unstuck button and I think it'll just teleport you somewhere or something. Alright, then we got the help menu over here which you can kind of look through things there. And then some news or mail. If you have mail, you can check it. Alright. So that's kind of a quick run through of the interface, hopefully quick, because <laughs> it took a little while. And then we'll get started. So if we jump in here, this new recruits, the Federation has pulled out of here. Are you sure you got your orders right? Uh, in the video we kind of see them approaching the Island of Dawn as a new recruit to help with the war, I guess. So I don't know why they send you here. Honestly, it might have been a joke. That's what this place is now. You may as well check with the gate them now that you're here, though. You can help us wrap up. Alright. So then we gotta go over and check with them. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. To interact with things, to pick things up, or to talk to people, you just hit F. Something important. Uh, which is really nice because it's right next to D, so it's quick. I, why would they send you here? We don't even want to be here. And whenever you see that star, that means you've completed the quest, basically. Well, now that you're here, we may as well put you to work. We could use some help getting this place cleared out. I could have told you from the start that the Federation wasn't going to be able to hold it together. All that unity crap was just talk. You ready to get us help, help us get it out of here? Alright, so we finished that quest. Ta-da! Ooh, and we achieved expedition relief. Alright, so then whenever they have this exclamation point over them, it means they have a quest for you. If it's red, it goes along the main storyline. If it's yellow, it's just a side quest that you can take. So making the rounds. Well, first we need to see who's even still here. That's something you could do. Axel and I are waiting for our ride to get out of here, but Adria is trying to get that list together. Take a quick head count on the way down to her. Ooh, I don't know what is just this worth my time? I haven't seen Elion for a while, come to think of it. Make sure you check in with him, too. Not sure why that keeps closing. 
All right, and the rewards. We get a new tunic, and we get some sort of additional reward. 60 gold, uh, bronze, and 600 XP. Accept. All right, so now we see it on our quest tracker. And we can use our mini-map over here to see that the next spot is down here. I like the way the Alin run and jump. It's pretty cute. So we're just going to be running along here. And towards the next spot. I have to say, I really am impressed with the graphics of this game, though. Uh, the environments and just the light character creation, everything. It's just really beautiful. Especially for a free to play. So I highly recommend giving it a shot. Now, if we hop in here, we'll talk to Kiss Hale. I can do that. Oh, I didn't actually read it. <laughs> I have to admit, I've done this several times, and so nowadays I usually just fly through it, so I kind of forget to read sometimes course, since I've already done it. Alright, well, and this is a side quest, so. Wow, the Federation doesn't know when they've lost, do they? Oh, was that my outside voice? I meant. Welcome to the Island of Dawn, new recruit. Getting some answers. There's one who knows much of Gilead Hus. Dulari, researcher and friend. As you travel to his campsites to the south, collect samples from those you fight. Attack from the sides or behind, but keep moving. And anger Gilead Hu is nothing to trifle with. And we'll get a new axe when we finish this one. So, here we go. We're gonna kill ourselves some tree, people. K.A. Okay, the Gilead Hus. Gilead Hu. Alright, there's one right up here. Oh, stolen. Stolen. So right now we don't have any real skills other than just hitting and blocking. So this will be good here. Good test. Done. That's a nice part of the Berserker. That you can block, unlike a lot of other classes. Boom. And nice strong hit. Now, as you can see, the enemy uh, health is usually somewhere right in here, which you can move around as well. So we're just gonna keep killing these guys. Locked. And I have my block on my right click, so it's really easy to do that. Alright, so we're level one. Done. And now that we're a little bit higher, this should be easier too. So four down, one to go. The other part of the quest, as you can see to the right, is checking in with Dulari. Block again. Here he goes, big fall. Boom. And finish him off. Alright, so we finished that quest. Got the little yellow star, meaning we can go turn in. Do do do. Take a look around the forest. So pretty. <laughs> run in circles. <laughs> and, oh, another thing about this game that I really like, if you're, if you enjoy taking screenshots and things like that, as I do, you can do that. You just hit Control Z to hide uh, the interface, and then you can scroll in and out to get nice different views of your character. It works pretty good. And then just hit Control Z, and then you can change to your character's viewpoint if you like. And then just control Z again to come back to the normal. We're all in this, together, eh? this island is the first new thing on the map in 300 years, and in just three months we've learned enough to redefine the world. Have Arun and Shara dreamed this place to test us or as a reward for the faithful? Oh, that's right, it is Arun and Shara. Yeah. So I was, I was right. Okay, getting some answers. Saw you had to defend yourself along the path. Odd behavior for such normally docile creatures, yes? Gilead are protector spirits, not soldiers. I need answers and samples as to what's going on. For the Federation! Show you what I've got. So we got a new sword, er, axe. Alright. Our first sight of the island told us the story of wonder and mysteries. Now all I see is a vast graveyard where brave men, women, and Baraka died. Measured against what we've lost, can we ever fully consider this expedition a success? So then we can continue the main storyline. Yes, I'm still here. My orders are to stay up here until we get the last of these Gilead who's cleaned up. Hey, when you run to, into Ellen, can you see if he'll... Elion? Can you see if he'll swing by and help me? Will do. Well, and he has other ones too for us. Noroks are normally docile enough, but damned if they don't get it.
skittish at the slightest magical twinge. I need you to kill several Noriks and bring samples of their, uh, blah, 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 of their fur up to Nazir at the Northern Overwatch. Think you can manage? Noriks are a little tougher than Gillyhoos. I'll you do must it. Need help. Uh, okay, and an initial bers berserker training. I trust you've seen by now that this island is no normal place. These gilly tusks, the structures to the south, and further on, there's the... Well, let's just say you'll be no use to us if you're dead. Making the island safe for future researchers is our top priority now. Junior over there will teach you how to be a better berserker. Except. Alright, so then we'll go over to Julia. Hello, Julia. Who is a Kastanic, as you can see. We have our magic instructor, Volus. Now these guys are throughout the game. This is where you increase your skills, gain new skills, and all that kind of fun stuff. Do not talk start to Junia. You, you need finish. training? I teach lancers, archers, warriors, berserkers, and slayers to hit harder, move faster, and kill everything in their way. If you've got the gold, I've got the skills. So we'll start the quest. Welcome. You look like you're ready to learn new skills. How can you... Uh, da, 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 da. How can you learn new skills? It's simple. Every time you reach an even level, you can visit a master or instructor of the corresponding class and look through the skill menu and learn the skill. Alright, now let's try it. The new skill for Berserker is called the Cyclone 1. Try this one. So, we'll science, go to learn skills. Then, the ones that are highlighted, obviously, or that you can actually see very well, um, are ones that are applicable to you. So, as you go, you can even kind of look through and see what your future skills will be. So we'll go ahead. And they cost a little bit too, so you check and see how much it costs. So you just hit learn. So now I know that skill. I can talk Stay to her again to, the to finish the quest. There you go, your pet is set out before you. More and better skills as you earn more levels. And give Sky Clone 1 a try against some real enemies. You'll shock the nearby foes when you strike the ground with the flat of your blade. For the Federation! Alright, ooh. Rejuvenation mode. Okay, so let's go into our skills using K, and then we can see our skills. And this is our new one, Cyclone. So I'm just gonna pop that down on my hot bar just by dragging it. Dragon. Oh, and here it's minimized right now, so I'm going to actually expand it. That way I can have lots of things. All right, so we're gonna go over here and uh, Berserkers are ones that your MP doesn't stay rejuvenated. I mean, you can get armor and things like that that will help with that, or crystals. Um, but in general, your MP will drop to zero until you start fighting. So, the first few strikes, you might have to build up your MP with that block. That way, I can do my cyclone move. So, block. Whenever their eyes blink that red, or twinkle with that little red light. That means they're about to strike a special move that usually does more damage. So as you can see now my MP is much higher. Alright. Okay, and then we'll do the cyclone move real quick just to show it to you. Done. And now with that cyclone move too, uh, you can hold it down to charge it up. And that'll make it stronger like that. And it gets better as you keep going. So let's do that cyclone move. Charge. Done. Got a scroll of resurrection which will allow me to resurrect a nearby fallen friend within a certain amount of time. I'm not sure what it is. Might be a couple minutes. All right, four out of five. One more. There we go. Lock. Done. All right, done. All right, so now we got the Noric hides, and we're going up here to Nivik. Talk Great. to Nivik. Help. It's so quiet right now. You'd never imagine that the grass was red with the blood of heroes not so long ago. So many friends, so many troops lost. I sometimes think this island wants to devour us. The secret life of trees. It's tough to keep. It's tough keeping morale up here. After the massacre, the survivors held on, but barely. I've been doing my part by cooking up piglings, chops, bacon roasts, and the like. Mmm. These cra this crazed Gelly Two Vekas keeps killing all the piglings, though. 
This post is miserable enough, but living without meat, no soldier should have to endure that. Kill Vekas, and I'll use him to smoke the best rashers of bacon in this side of Piador. So then when we accept this, there's going to be a little cutscene, which I'm going to skip through. It kind of gives you a little preview of Vekas killing the piglings. So time to chop Vekas down to size. So we're going to go ahead and just attack him straight forward. Do a block here. Done. Use our cyclone, which does a good amount of damage. Block here. He gets ready to fall. Use our cyclone again. A couple more times. Oh, looks like we got the attention of the other one. That's all right though. We'll take on two. The piggies will also attack you too. Block. Still got some damage there, but not too bad. Alright, so we get to pick up all of these goodies. Which I actually usually like to kill him more than once because you're more likely to get gear that is applicable to your character. So if we open up our inventory, as you can see, and if you can hit the sort button to automatically sort it out. Ah, here's our new axe from before that I forgot to equip. So we'll just right click it to equip it. You can also see that it compares this to what you are currently wearing. And down at the bottom you can see the attack increases by 5. So it's a good way of comparing the two. Great. So now we have Rude Awakening. Looks a little bit shinier. Talk to Nivik here. Let's get it done. So quiet right now. You never met. Uh, uh, we already did that. Well fought, Berserker. Might not seem like much, but armies depend on the stomachs for more than just traveling. Here, take this as my thanks. Bane of Vekas. Ooh. For the Federation. And we leveled up. Sweet. Now we are level four already. And as you can see, we actually got all three things, which is really good. Good luck. So, this one's better for our defense and balance. Put on some new garb, just a different color. Some gauntlets, also better. And some new shoes. All of which look kind of the same as we did before, but usually it's just a different color for now. Alright, well I think that's going to wrap up our second episode of Terra Online with a little Ilden Berserker. Join us next time. Thanks for watching.